right now we're about to head to Brazil but first we have to fly to Atlanta and then we have a connecting flight to Sao Paulo and then after that we have a flight to Vitoria so we have a really long day ahead of us but we're here right now we're waiting to board they're literally boarding right now and also we're here with Alex's brother but he's working right now so yeah unfortunately Alex is a little bit sick right now I think he has some food poisoning or we suspect that he has some food poisoning he might have eaten something that went bad and he's been throwing up lately so I hope that he gets better because this flight is gonna be really rough if he doesn't get better anytime soon so let's hope that he gets better <laughs> he looks so miserable I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah we will see you later hopefully in Brazil I'll check in throughout the day hotel right now we got here like a couple hours ago but we were so tired that i didn't bother to film anything but we're here right now in vittoria we had such a long journey that i was very exhausted and i think i took like a two hour nap but yeah we're here finally and in a few minutes in like about 10 minutes once i finish my makeup we are going to meet up with alex's friends but before that we're gonna go see his grandma like real quick before we go meet up with his friends so we're gonna head over there soon i don't even know what to say because I've been looking forward to this trip for so long but if you're new here hello what an interesting vlog to pick to watch as your first vlog of mine what <laughs> For anyone who's new here, my partner is Brazilian. I'm personally not Brazilian, I'm Filipino, full Filipino, but I'm here because my partner is Brazilian and we're here to like see his family and see more of Brazil because I've actually been to Brazil before. I've been to Rio de Janeiro, but we flew into Sao Paulo, which we will go get to see soon on this trip, but we're here in like his hometown and obviously we're gonna see his family and all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically why I'm here and it's pretty much why I've been trying to learn Portuguese. I haven't actually learned learn Portuguese but I feel like these past few months I've been trying to learn por Portuguese until I got my job and then after that I didn't have any more time to practice any more Portuguese so so we're sticking with the limited amount of knowledge that I have of Portuguese and I feel like the conversations are gonna run on without me which is fine but I kind of wish that I learned a little bit more like I said earlier his brother is here he came with us on the flights that we took and then his mom is gonna be here in a few days I don't know I think like probably today or tomorrow she should be leaving the last little tidbit of context to this whole situation is that Alex's 
mom's side is korean so his mom is full korean his grandma and grandpa actually immigrated here to brazil from korea so if you see like anything or if you notice anything that's like super korean that's why they're literally korean so yeah alex is half korean half brazilian i'm very interested to see like how their house looks because they did bring a lot of furniture from korea and also his grandma doesn't know any english at all all she knows is korean and portuguese so that's gonna be really interesting like this whole language barrier thing that we have going on but yeah that is everything that is going on right now i think i've covered everything like all of the context that needed to be discussed so i'm just gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go head out meet his grandma and then after that we're gonna hang out with his childhood friends at a place that they used to all hang out at before he left so yeah welcome to the vlog i don't think i properly welcomed you all but officially welcome to the first brazil vlog and i don't know how these vlogs are gonna go but for now welcome oi boa noite oi alexandre Você tá chegando aqui porque cadê seu pai? everyone we just had breakfast and in about 30 minutes or so we're going to alex's grandma's house we're gonna have lunch with them i know we just had breakfast but i had kind of had like a small breakfast while alex ate much earlier than i did so yeah i'm probably still gonna be a little bit hungry by the time that we get there after that we're gonna hang out with a couple of alex's friends one of them is the same friend from last night and then the other one's like a new friend that i haven't met yet so last night i was able to meet his grandma and his uncle that lives in the same apartment as his grandma and then i was also able to meet his aunt who is his uncle's wife basically and his cousin anyways hanging out with everybody has been really fun it's fun to listen to them talk i can't really say anything since i didn't learn that much portuguese but sometimes i can get the gist of what they're saying but there are definitely times where i'm like just completely tuned out from the conversation because i just don't understand and i really don't mind like being around when alex is talking to his friends or family like all Obviously we're here for that, like for him to catch up with all of them and, and all that stuff. So I'm trying not to like kill the vibe as much as possible, just like being around and like kind of listening, but at times I do get bored. So I'm thinking about like bringing my Kindle, but I don't know how weird that would look. But Alex said it probably would be fine if I did bring my Kindle. Obviously we're here for him. Like I'm gonna let him talk as much as he wants to talk and stay as long as he wants to because like when's the next time he's ever gonna be able to like catch up with everybody? It probably won't be another like few years from now when he's gonna be able to do this. So I'm gonna let him like talk as much as he can. And if I like have to bring my Kindle to keep myself occupied, Pie, like that's fine and as long as alex is fine with it it's fine so yeah that's the update for now and i will see you all later This entire day was basically spent hanging out, catching up with friends and family, and eating. In fact, this entire trip was mostly eating since they basically wanted me to try everything that was iconic to the local region. Vitoria specifically is known for moqueca, which is what Alex's uncle is making here. 
Eu não. Ah, que eles estão não, 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 não. Sim. Só que. Like I said earlier, there was a huge language barrier between me and Alex's family and I deeply regretted not learning more Portuguese, but they tried their best to make me feel included, which I really appreciated. This was honestly one of the best dishes I had the entire trip and I'm kind of sad that I won't have homemade mukeka again for a while. Later that day, we went and got pizza with a couple of Alex's friends, and the pizza was really good, but I quickly realized why eating pizza with utensils is far more superior than eating it with your hands. I also realized that Brazilians love eating out for their birthdays. Afterwards, we went to another place just to have some acai bowls, a must if you're in the land of acai. And this is when I realized that I actually love plain acai, just by itself without any toppings. The perfect way to end the night after celebrating so many birthdays. <laughs> A couple days later, because I had to cut an entire day from this vlog, we went to the Italian restaurant that Alex and his family grew up eating at, and his friends came over to eat with us too because across the street from this restaurant was the apartment building that they all grew up in. This was basically how they all met each other ever since they were about 10 years old or so. They would basically hang out in the pool slash football court all day. And if that's not a recipe for our friendship, I don't know what is. After cooling off in Alex's grandma's apartment, we went out to Kamburi Beach and walked along the boardwalk. This was when we realized that Alex's grandma is quick. I mean, she was here, here there, there, and gone. gone. She Got had the, the power, power of, of infinity, infinity and, and beyond. beyond. But after that long walk, we had some coconut juice and we had a nice dinner on the beach. Just Brazil things.
can clearly see that I've been trying to do it all So good. <laughs> To be honest, this was probably my least favorite meal of the whole trip. I mean, Alex and his brother liked it, but it wasn't personally my cup of tea. But as you saw earlier, the drink was so good. And I think one thing that Brazilians usually get right is their mocktails. Because as someone who cannot drink, I love that I can still quote unquote drink. Our second to the last day, Alex and I got a bit of breakfast and I was able to try torta de frango. Excuse my pronunciation, I am so bad at pronouncing things. But anyway, I tried this dish, which ended up being another one of my favorite dishes. out to our first stop of the day which was the Japanese school that Alex and his brother attended for a short while in their childhood. Surprisingly enough, their old art teacher still worked there and they were able to catch up with her a little bit. a bit of an uphill walk in the blazing hot weather, we came to our second stop of the day. This is called the Onion Rock Park. There's a rock that looks just like an onion here. And it's like in the center of the park. Even though this park was nestled in the city, surprisingly there was plenty of wildlife here, including this peacock couple. It was a very quiet park too, which was also surprising considering how close it was to busy streets. And that made it a pretty nice place to chill before we headed out to lunch. We met up with Alex's mom and grandma for lunch and I was very thankful for the location of this restaurant because it had a very welcome breeze, especially after that walk around the park in this disgustingly hot weather. This restaurant specialized in local seafood, so we had some more mukeka amongst other things. This time we ordered mukeka with shrimp and fish and mukeka with lobster. And you'll see this happen at least once in almost every vlog I make here in Brazil, but Brazilians love having a bit of coffee after their meals, which they call cafezinho. That night, Alex and I had dinner at the place where we had acai bowls before because I was craving some fries and they served them there.
We also ordered some drinks, which of course mine was non-alcoholic, but still delicious. Also, I think we need more napkins. Okay, so for the past couple of clips, I accidentally had the camera in slow-mo, so I kind of have to like re-explain myself, but basically our bus ride to Belo Horizonte tomorrow is actually gonna be at night. So we will have time tomorrow to go to the convent. We actually planned on going to the convent today, but our plans kind of fell through and I think everybody just like woke up late. But anyways, tomorrow we'll be able to go to the convent in the morning and then we're gonna check out of the hotel and bring all of our stuff to Alex's grandma's house and probably hang out there until our bus takes us to Belo Horizonte. So yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow and yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Fusquinha na calçada Bicicleta amarela E o calor the next morning was our last day in Vitoria, so we checked out of the hotel and dropped our stuff off at Alex's grandma's house for the day. Vai você, eu vou depois Deixa a porta Ah, é! Tudo bem? Gostou da, da que Vitória é hotel? Ah, sim. <risos> ah, sim. <risos> e as horas vão passando. I was so surprised at how many photos they had, even from before his grandparents immigrated to Brazil. It was one of my personal highlights from the trip because from seeing these photos, it seemed like his family wanted to keep their heritage as much as possible. lunch to this traditional Portuguese restaurant that specializes in bacalhau, which is a fish that has been dried and cured in salt, then rehydrated, which I thought was pretty interesting and which gave the fish a distinct flavor and texture. Yeah, but how do you know? Like, oh, where do you learn that from? I don't know. I remember we talked about it from the first place. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. This was basically the last meal we had with Alex's family on his mom's side before we left to go to Belo Horizonte. So we had to make it count. So we kind of splurged on this meal, but I think it was worth it. And I had such a great time just being around them since again, there was a language barrier. And I also appreciated how much they taught me about food because I definitely needed to learn it. <laughs> Ending 
ending off our trip on a high note, we finally went to the convent, which is something that Alex and his brother had never even been to despite having lived in Vittoria for most of their lives. The convent is located in the next town over and they do offer buses up the mountain, but we decided to take the scenic route and walk up about a mile. And I'm honestly glad we did because we made a little friend along the way. Did she almost step on that? Yeah. Oh my god. Gajo pega. Araña. Yeah, it's like in our school, yeah. it took a while for her. It was to realize those, that it was a spy. Saw one of those. Tarantula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never yeah, seen it. The views from the top of the mountain and from the convent make the walk completely worth it. From here, you can see just how many buildings there are, which kind of puts into perspective just how small my idea of Brazil has always been. Before I met my best friend, who is also Brazilian, and obviously Alex, I had no idea that Brazil was this large and this diverse. And after finally being able to see his hometown, I can begin to understand just how big this country is. What does that mean? I'm tired of climbing stairs. <laughs> understand that not everyone is going to want to visit Vittoria. In fact, I feel like I was the only American tourist in this entire city. But I wanted to share this vlog not only for the memories, but to also share a different side of Brazil in the hopes that it encourages people to come out and visit and meet some wonderful Brazilian people. The country has a rich history and culture that I unfortunately have no time to explain. But in the next couple of videos, I'll try and give you a good glimpse of that through my own personal experience and through what I learned from my partner Alex. And even if you never end up going to Brazil, chances are you will at least meet a Brazilian person at some point in your life. My best friend and I were just talking about this but we feel like everywhere we go we always hear someone speaking Brazilian Portuguese. And sometimes I'll find a random video or TikTok that has nothing to do with Brazilians whatsoever but for some reason the video will give off huge Brazilian vibes and the Brazilians will just flood the comment section. Anyway, I digress. Brazil is cool and my worldview has expanded because of it. Nada. Vai com Deus, tá? Você é muito bonita, viu? Ah, obrigada. Linda, linda. Viu? Mine is here. I'll see you guys there. Tá. Okay. Entrei no jogo pra perder. Sim, sim. 
passar a vida sem sair do lugar, sem ter alguém pra amar. Eu não vou negociar a minha liberdade. Eu admiro o caos